right? So um, now we're going to we're going to do question two. Um, two point one. We are given a quadratic sequence of two, three, ten, and twenty two, and twenty three. Sorry. So um, two point. 2.1.1, we are asked to write down the next term of the sequence. So, um, having, so we have 2, 3, 10, 23, so we are asked to write down the next term of the sequence. Um, the first thing we're going to do is find the first difference of this sequence here, which would be 1, 7, and 13 right um, so the second difference is going to give you 6 right so um, we know that uh, the sequence is increasing by 6 um, points or 6 units so meaning that the next term here would be 19 and the following term would be 25 right so uh, then uh, for us to find the next term we're going to say this 19 plus this 23 so it's 19 plus the 23 here um, we add them together they should give us the next term which is 42 right if maybe you want to find another term you can simply say this 42 plus 25 should give you 67 so um, this is the answer for this question here so 2.1.2 uh, says that we must find the nth term of the sequence so basically we must find the general term or the equation of this quadratic sequence so what you want to do is we know our sequence is 2 3 10 23 and 42 which we found in the previous question so we need to find the first difference of the sequence here which would be 1 7 13 and 19 right because uh, we say 3 minus 2 10 minus 3, um, 23 minus 10, just like that. So this would be our first difference, right? And our second difference, we just um, subtract these. Uh, 7 minus 1 gives you 6, and 13 minus 7 is 6, 19 minus 13 is 6. So this is your second difference, right? So uh, to find, uh, because Tn is equals to An squared plus Bn plus C, we first need to find the value of A, right? So it's going to be 2A is equals to the second difference, which is 6, and then we divide by 2 both sides. So our A value is going to be 3, right? And then to find um, the value of b is going to be 3a plus b is equal to the first term of the first difference which is 1 and 3 into our a value is 3 plus b is equal to 1 3 times 3 is 9 and transpose it to the other side we have b is equal to 1 minus 9 which b is equal to minus 8 right so um and then um we want to find the value of c so it's going to be a plus b plus c being equal to the first term of the sequence which is this two here so it's going to be two the a value is equal to three the b value is minus eight plus c is equal to two right so your c value is supposed to give you seven right so now you have your a value your b value and your c value so your uh, formula is going to be tn being equal to a n squared plus b n plus c of which your a value is 3 so it's going to be 3 n squared your b value is minus 8 it's going to be minus 8 n and your c value is equal to 7 so it's plus 7 so this is your tn of the sequence here 2.1.3 says that we must calculate the 20th term of the sequence so we already found our tn right being equals to uh, 3 n squared minus 8 n plus 7 right so t20 would be 3 into 20 to the power of 2 minus 8 into 20 plus 7 so you need to get an answer of 1041 right so that is your t20 
So now in 2.2, we are given this arithmetic sequence of 35, 28, and 21. We are asked to calculate which term of the sequence will give us a value of minus 140, right? So um, uh, we are given uh, a sequence of 35, 28, and 21, which we are told it's an arithmetic sequence, right? And we are asked which term of the sequence will give us minus 140, right? So we need to find the value of n, basically. So because the arithmetic sequence, we're going to use it. the general formula of an arithmetic sequence, which is tn is equal to a plus into n minus 1 multiplied by d. So our tn is minus 140 is equal to our a value. It's our first term of our arithmetic sequence, which is 35 plus into n minus 1. Our difference um, difference of these is going to be minus 7, right? So we're just going to write minus 7 here, right? So um, then we can transpose this 35 to the other side. We have minus 140 minus 35 is equal to n in, oh sorry, um, it's equal to n minus 1 multiplied by minus 7, right? So we can simply divide by minus 7. So we divide by minus 7 both sides. We have n minus 1 is equal to minus 140 minus 35 divided by minus 7. And transpose the minus 1 to the other side. And we will have n being equal to minus 140 minus 35 divided by minus 7 plus 1. So our n value, if you're going to punch this into your calculator, we should get an n value of 26. So that is what we are looking for in this question here. Uh, 2.3 says that for which value of n will the sum of the first n terms of the arithmetic sequence, so the sum of the arithmetic sequence, in 2.2 which means in the previous question that we just did be equal to the end term of the quadratic sequence in 2.1 so this is the quadratic so we want to find the number of terms such that the sum of the um, arithmetic sequence is equal to the end term of the quadratic sequence so our equation should look something like this so um, we know very well that Sn um, is equal to n over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d, just like that for an arithmetic sequence, right? And our Tn we found to be equals to 3, to 3 multiplied by n squared minus 8n plus 7, right? So the first thing here is to do is to equate these two equations um, and find your value of n, which is what's required. So Sn is equals to Tn, right? And our Sn is this equation here, so it's going to be n over 2 into 2a plus into n minus 1 and uh, multiplied by d equals to 3n squared minus 8n plus 7, right? So um, we need to um, write down our, our values of the arithmetic sequence. Um, if we take a look, um, this is our arithmetic sequence of 35, 28, and 21, right? So what this means is it will be able, it will be easier for us to identify the the A value uh, and the D value of the arithmetic sequence here. So the A value and the D value, right? Because um, we're having um, our A value, so it's going to be N over 2 into 2. Our A value from that sequence is 35, right? Plus into N minus 1. And then our D value is minus 7. This is what we identified in the previous question. So it's equals to 3n squared minus 8n plus 7, right? So just going to simplify this further. So it's going to be n over 2 into 70, right? Because it's uh, 2 times 35 
and then um, this minus 7 will multiply everything that is inside here so it's going to be minus 7 n plus 7 e is equals to 3 n squared minus 8 n plus 7 right so um, it's going to be n over 2 into uh, minus 7 n plus 77 is equal to 3 n squared minus 8 n plus 7 so um, we're just gonna multiply the n over 2 inside so it's going to be minus 7 n um, multiplied by n over 2 plus 77 77 multiplied by n over 2 right equals to 3 n squared minus 8 n plus 7 so here we're gonna get minus 7 n squared over 2 uh, plus 77 n over 2 equals to 3 n squared minus 8 n plus 7 right so we're going to collect the like terms meaning that we're going to add this um, minus 7 over 2 n squared with this one here and we're going to add this 77 n over 2 with this minus 8 here right so remember that this is actually seven um this one here so um once we add these like terms we should have a standard formula of 13 over 2 n squared after adding this with this here and then we will have minus 93 over 2 n after adding this and this here so you can decide whether you you take this left hand side to the right hand side and then you do the addition and subtraction or you take the right hand side to the left hand side and do the addition or subtraction right so what i did is i took this everything here to the right hand side and then i added and subtracted um the terms so you're gonna have plus seven being equals to zero and then from here you can use your quadratic um, equation right um, quadratic formula rather which is um, n being equals to minus b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a right so you're going to substitute um, your value of b in this case it's minus 93 over 2 your value of a is equals to 13 over 2 right and your value of c is equals to 7 so you will substitute these values into your quadratic uh, number pattern uh, so you're going to say n is equals to minus our beats minus 93 over 2 plus or minus the root of uh, minus 93 over 2 squared minus 4 our a value is equals to 13 over 2 our c is 7 right and then divide by 2 our a value is 13 over 2 and then um, the final answer that you're supposed to get is n being equals to 7 or n being equals to 2 over 13 of which this is not uh, applicable we will take n being equals to 7. thank you so much for watching if you have any questions suggestions or comments please write them in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.